Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Three, two, one. Let her Good afternoon, Bugsters. Once again, you guys already freaking know because you clicked on the video, which means your boy Bug is bringing you another banger video. And I know you've seen the thumbnail, and I know you've seen the title, and I know you've read the description, unless you can't read. And that's what you are getting today, all of the above. For all of you that are returning to the channel, thank you so, so much. You guys have been leaving awesome comments and the likes to dislike ratios on the videos have been wild. Everyone's commenting bug yet again. We're back with another banger and that's why I'm yet again bringing you guys another one. Um, if you guys are tuning into the channel for your first time though and you're, you're not an OG, that's okay because you can be someday, hit that subscribe button with post notifications on. That way you can be up to date on future bangers. I just want all of you guys to know this. If this video gets 10,000 likes, I will do a burnout in the Skeeter beater till either the tires pop or the engine explodes. So if you guys want to see that, I know you do because so many of you guys have commented it. Go down and like this video, 10,000 likes, burnout till motor blows up or tires pop, I'll make it happen. Riken, do you think I should show them the, the new paint job? Once again, I don't think they're ready. Riken, Riken's, you know, he has a good judgment and he doesn't think you guys are ready, neither do I. I don't know if we should classify as a paint job though, should we? Because the I have no idea what people are going to think of this. The paint's kind of like all the way gone. Alright, we'll show you. So yeah, if you just take a look. Uh, if you guys would have seen the last video where I let random people spray paint this, if you haven't, go check that out after. But if you did see it, you would have known there was a bunch of Instagram names, flames, graffiti, all the way throughout the truck. Um, and the truck was just getting way too much attention when I drove on the freeway. People were looking at me in disgust. My neighbors probably already don't like me, uh, and I really know they don't now. So I kind of just took off the paint, made it look like a cow, hoping that it will rust really soon, uh, and then it'll just look like a really old school blazer, because you know, it is a blazer. The old Skeeter beater is going to be hooking up to that big old honking gooseneck. And on that gooseneck is going to be this 1994 Chevy Suburban. Uh, you guys are all familiar with this truck. Well, that, you know, weighs about 6,500 pounds. The trailer weighs about 7,500 pounds. Uh, this can only tow about 5,000 pounds. This is going to be very, very interesting to say the least. You guys already know though, before we hook this up to the gooseneck, which I don't know if it's really considering hooking it up because we're just going to kind of be dumping it in the bed. We might just weld a ball hitch in there. Um, I'm not sure yet. We're going to get there. But I want you guys to go down below in the comment section and let me know if you guys think this is either going to A, work, or B, fail. I love doing this and I love to see your guys' guesses to see who's right, who's wrong, and then let me know why. Um, Right now, my intake, I don't think it's going to work, but okay, 75% of me doesn't think it'll work, 25% does. Let's just say that. Let me know what you guys think though. I do though need to let this warm up because that is going to be, you know, that's going to be putting a lot of just stress on this truck and I want the engine to be up to a full running temp. The truck hasn't ran all day and also I need to get you guys warmed up. So what better way to do that? than this. Skeeter beater, as you can tell, does not have the most power. With it not having that much power, pulling this giant gooseneck with this giant truck on it may be difficult as well. So remember, 10,000 likes on this video if you want me to sit and just hold this in a straight line doing a burnout until one of the tires pop or the motor blows up. She is warmed up. Check engine the light is on, that's no big deal. Can come as close as you. Personal fabricator 
is getting the hitch just all dialed in. I'm going to take the 1994 Chevy Suburban and put it on the gooseneck. Well, you know, I'm a full sender on the channel. We were hoping that we could just hurry and drive this up onto the trailer. Yeah, maybe the front end would have came up a little bit and then went back down, but it just wasn't happening. As you guys could see, that was a very close call. So now we're actually gonna hook up a truck, hook it to the ball. I'm gonna drive this on it, unhook the truck, and then hook up the Skeeter Beater. Just, I'm doing all this for your guys' entertainment, so you better scroll down and smash a freaking like on this video. All the time you guys are asking to see some Fords in my videos. Well, here you go. We're only using it just to hook up to this, but now it's time to swap this and hook up the real horsepower machine. The gooseneck with the Suburban all the way aired up is sitting just about on the truck. We just gotta drop it down. Um, I'm very curious to see if this fabrication of this, you know, very high quality hitch will hold, let alone can my truck even pull all of that weight. You guys know the drill. Before we start this process, scroll down and let me know down below in the comment sections if A, this is gonna work, or B, this is gonna completely fail. Wow, and I'm a real big rig now. I even got my CB, so when I get going down the interstate, if I have any problems, I can just call for some truckers and they'll come take care of me. Also, to make things even more interesting and fun, right under that is my fuel tank. The tow capacity on this is only 5,000 pounds. We're over 14,000 sitting on it. I can't believe I'm doing this. I don't know why I'm doing this. More so you guys' entertainment, but I don't know if this is gonna work, you guys. We have Safety Steve over here with the fire extinguisher juice, just in case things get too wild. False alarm, everyone. Um, as you can tell, we ran into a little bit of an issue, a little bit of a doozy, but it's okay. We're gonna lift this back up and we're gonna do some more reinforcing because I'm not gonna let you guys down. I'm going to make the freaking Skeeter Beater Pull this trailer, pull this truck. Now we have two more supports. Um, as you could tell from just barely, when we put the weight on it, it started folding this. Now that shouldn't be able to happen because we have you know a longer distance. And uh, yeah, time to go hook up to it. Great things in life don't just come the first time. There, you know, you have hard work, and then you have failure, and then you have more hard work, and then you achieve your freaking goal. I think this is gonna work this time though. Yes. Keep going down, drop the forks. When it is finally go time, the truck is holding the gooseneck with the burb on top just fine. Our extra support is helping doing justice and the squat is unreal right now compared to the front. Now it is the moment of truth everyone has been waiting for you guys you've seen what we've gone through you've seen what we had to keep doing do you finally think it is going to work now please please let me know down below don't cheat and act smart and say your answer at the very end just go down below and let's see who's right and who's wrong here we go ladies and gentlemen three two one let her rip Like nothing, like a freaking champ, baby! Alright, later guys, I'm gonna go 
go hop on the freeway, taking this thing to SEMA. See ya. No joke, honestly, my mind is blown. I told you guys at the beginning of the video I had a 75% chance that it wasn't going to work and only a 25% chance that it would and I was completely proven wrong because that is over 14,000 pounds. The vehicle can only pull 5,000, so huge, huge difference. The vehicle alone doesn't have a lot of horsepower and it just really seemed like everything was against me in this. It could barely hold the gooseneck hitch don't even know what to think right now. I want all of you right now to go down below in the comment section and say, Bug, you know what? I was wrong or I was right. I knew it would work. I'm really quite curious. I'll be the first to admit I was wrong. I didn't think it was going to work. It did have a really, really hard time backing up. Um, but now I do need to back the trailer all the way up. Maybe a little difficult not having tow mirrors on this. We'll see how she goes. All right, so the body is so tweaked right now from all the weight. Look at this, the door won't even shut. What can you do? There you have it. I am now parked right where I was before we took off. You guys, I kind of really wanted something to like blow up or break. So if you wanted the same thing and you want to see me do a burnout until the tires pop or the motor blows up, scroll down and smash the like button. 10,000 likes on this video. I will do it if we have it by next week. Burn out till the tires pop or the engine blows up. Let's freaking make it happen. And if any of you were curious if an S10 2001 Chevy Blazer could pull over 14,000 pounds, uh, that has now been answered. Yes, you can. You just have to, you know, fabricate your own hitch. And boy, I cannot wait for all of the fabricators, the mechanics to come rolling into this video and be like, wow, this kid's an idiot. Or, that's, that's not meant to tow a gooseneck. Like, dude. Come on, if you're not sending it in life, you're, you're not even living life. And my will right now is stuffed more than Shamu in SeaWorld. You versus the guy she tells you not to worry about. That is going to be a wrap for today's video. I truly do hope you all enjoyed. If you did, scroll down below and hit a like on today's video, along with a comment letting me know what you thought, if you were, were right, if you were wrong. Uh, how I'm dumb, how my hair is long and I look like a girl, whatever. Just comment down below and any other future ideas you guys want to see. I am going to keep making videos with this thing until it blows up. If we hit that 10,000 light goal and I can either blow up the tires or the engine, either will satisfy me. And truck is for sale for the right price, of course. $10,000 and you can own it, you can tow whatever you need to. I could have pulled a fifth wheel behind this, no problem. The truck's very lightly used. The paint condition is flawless. Maybe one or two scratches. Uh, Tells like a champ, has about 800 horsepower. Let me know down below in the comment section if you wanna buy it. The boy Buggy truly, truly does love every single one of you. I am very grateful for where I'm at in life and you guys, my followers, my supporters, more so my family. Thank you so much from the bottom of my heart for everything. You guys kill it. You're always leaving me with awesome feedback. You guys are killing it on the like button. There's everything overall. I'm so appreciated even when it comes to buying the merch, stickers, 
It means the world. Thank you. I love you. Your boy Bug is out. Peace. Down, 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 down.